Oh, guys, Love Island reunion Christmas shindig. I sat through an hour to make this video, and I have to say it was fucking hard, but views, in it. I don't even know where to begin. Obviously, I did watch Love Island this year. Yeah, I'm not going to be here and pretend to be all fucking macho and like, oh, don't watch that sissy shit. Do you know what I mean? It's not the case, yeah? I did watch it. Admittedly, I originally started watching it to take the piss out of it. Thanks for the 20,000 views, but... It snagged me, yeah? I, I flew too close to the sun, yeah? Icarus, burnt my wings off, and next thing I know, I'm watching every single night. So obviously, going into this Christmas reunion, obviously I knew what it was all about, I knew all the people and that, and so this is my thoughts, basically, on the Christmas reunion. This is probably going to centre around very few people, as the actual episode centred around very few people, but one of the things straight off the bat that kind of was just like, Please shut up. Was Samira, funnily enough, wasn't a massive fan during the series, and she basically said that, you know, because she's a Scorpio in that, they always fall hard. And it's just like, come on, man. It's 2018. Like, if you still think that fucking horoscopes are a real thing, if you really think you can kind of break down every single person in the world into 12 types of people based on a fucking horoscope in the stars, you need to grow up. And admittedly, that is quite a feisty thing to say, I know, but then I am a Taurus. Hayley dropping the one line is fucking beautiful. Hayley is such, such an incredible specimen, you know? I mean, let's face it, yeah, the girl is beautiful. No one's denying that. She is aesthetically probably as pleasing as they get, but there is nothing going on between the ears, like, to a degree I've never really seen before. And it's just like, holy shit, it's amazing how, just how dense she is actually brings down her attractiveness by at least six six points it drops it to at least a four it's it's phenomenal it just goes to show you know when people say oh personality is everything and everyone thinks oh yeah pull the no personality is a massive factor and Haley, when she said what does eu mean espanol that just kind of just said to me how can anyone that isn't as thick as you Love you. I mean, just to kind of put it in perspective, I genuinely believe Haley is the type of girl that you can convince that sperm is good for your skin just, just to get her to let you come on her face. And I reckon she'd, she'd believe you straight away. Like, oh, yeah, anti aging properties and that, proteins and that. And she'll just hear those long words and just think, yeah, sure, sounds great. And then next thing you. Anyway, you get the gist. Ellie summing up everything that is wrong with modern day dating when she said about coming out of the of the, the, the villa and saying how, you know, those two weeks that they had together which were perfect, she will hold on to those those two weeks. And you just gotta think back to our grandparents' day, man, like where they're together 50, 60 years. And if they were to hear someone say, like, I cherish those two weeks. I mean, there's people out there that have seen people for two weeks and completely forgot about them. Do you know what I mean? It's just like, you will cherish two weeks. It's just, just let it go. Flack was obviously there. Caroline, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't exactly a shock that Caroline Flack would be there. She is the presenter. And, you know, Caroline Flack, another beautiful woman. Lovely woman, yeah. I just can't, I can't get past the fact that... Her teeth look like they should be in like a seven-year-old child's mouth. It just makes no sense to me. It's just like, why did your why did your teeth stop growing when you were about eight? I just it, it, it baffles me. Every single time it just takes me completely out of the moment. When she's on TV, I'm just like, her teeth are just too small. One of the biggest moments in that episode, it was palpable, yeah? I could feel it in the room I was in. Charlie walks into that room, and holy shit, the response he got, right? I wasn't sure if they were reacting to Charlie walking in the room, or a resurrected Jimmy Savile in Speedos walking into the room. It was insane. You'd honestly think this guy, since Love Island, had either started shagging kids or had set up a new concentration camp. It was insane. I mean, all right, he, he apparently, allegedly, possibly, maybe cheated, and that is the worst thing you can do, right? Guys, don't cheat, yeah? It's a shit thing to do. I Only mean, shit people cheat. It's not the way, but fuck me. When he walked into that room, I'm not being funny, right? 
Georgia cheated as well. We'll get on to her in a big way in a minute. But he, she didn't get that reception, you know. And it, it's it's kind of like, I felt a little bit like, because it's a dude, it was like, oh, but because George is a chick, all the girls were like around and like, oh, it's that girl, all that shit. And it's just like, cheat is a cheat, male or female, ladies and gentlemen. Another thing I really, really can't stand, and I may have mentioned this in some of the previous Love Island videos, right? It's just, it's just too much. It's just too cringy. Please let me know down in the comments, yeah? The Do Bit Society, is that not just the cringiest shit you ever have seen on television. Like, when they start doing the whole DBS meetings and that, it just reminds me of, like, them kids at school that, like, wanted to be cool, so they'd, like, pretend that they've shagged loads of birds or whatever, and they'd, like, rant on about it or whatever, and it's just, like, we know you're full of shit and it's really cringy, and I just feel like this DBS thing, I'm not saying that they haven't done what they, they say they've done, but just the whole aura around it is just proper cringe and it's just like please stop and then they started rapping about it and i was like oh my god it's getting worse and i was just like i really need to turn this off now please just just turn off itv player because i watched it this morning not last night and I, I and then i thought of the views and i just thought mate you need to cash in you know it's christmas time the ad revenue's up and if you've got to sit through a cringy fucking rap at a dbs meeting that's what you've got to do you know Eal's a character, isn't he? Good old Eal. Uh, kind of guy that probably covers himself in tree sap and then proceeds to masturbate all over the tree itself. But it's just the way that he talks. I mean, he is very sexual, yeah? He is very, like, in tune with his sexuality. And, uh, you know, they summed it up well. He kind of undresses you with his eyes. But it's just the way that he talks is just kind of like he's a... It almost, it's, it's almost like he is on the verge of or is coming constantly and it's just like dude we get it yeah you want a banger like all right we get it but jesus he lays it on like a fucking painter and decorator with every single syllable it is absolutely insane he's so intense i reckon he's the kind of guy you get in a relationship with him it's like you're actually married from day one um my notes i've just got laura is just a complete tip um oh and georgia uh so i've got in here in brackets the worst human being um yeah i've got to say and uh, not just because he's a Norwich lad. I'm on Sam's side here. I just thought, off the bat, as soon as Georgia walked in, loud. Too much decibel going on there. Please, please tone it down. I, mean, I just, I honestly cannot stand that girl. And from a, from when she's, you know, in the series and stuff, all that loyal bollocks and then kissing Jack and swearing blind that she didn't do it. And then she obviously did do it because the footage was there and all that fucking shit. Oh, I just think that she is just the most in denial, obnoxious, patronising, repulsive person I've ever seen on television. And straight off the bat, Sam wants to talk to her about the situation. She instantly goes on the offensive and makes out that he's being aggressive when actually he's just trying to get quite an awkward conversation started about the fact that you cheated on him and I completely sympathise with the dude. I don't know why I care so much. Why the fuck do I care so much? And she just plainly denies the truth. It's insane. And it's like, people have seen the messages. They were leaked online. People know that you went to your ex's house twice in the early hours and you clearly cheated. Stop denying it. Own it. Embrace it because you just look like, especially when your tagline is loyal, you look like a complete and utter bell end. Like, just being honest here, what a fucking moronic tit that girl is. And I tell you what, she is no role model to any woman or girl ever, anywhere, because she is just horrible. She also does the classic in an argument. When you know you're winning an argument, right, they will switch it up. Doesn't matter who you're arguing with, they'll switch it up if they know they're in the wrong. And she switched it up and says, why are you shouting at me? Stop shouting at me. You always used to shout at me. It's just like, okay, we'll change the subject. Do you know why he's raising his voice? One, Georgia, because your natural decibels are eight times higher than any other fucking human on the planet regularly, even when you're whispering. And two, he's clearly upset that you cheated on him. So, he probably is going to raise his voice because he's emotional. Yeah, and you're just being a patronising dick right in front of his face, denying the truth, which is very frustrating. 
anyway, that, that's my thoughts on Georgia. Don't know if you can tell, I'm not her biggest fan. The thing is though about Love Island, like whether you love it or hate it, you cannot deny it is intoxicating reality TV. Like I said, it, it snared me and I got myself watching like the arguments and stuff on this Christmas reunion and was getting into it and I was just thinking in the back of my mind, dude, man, what on earth are you doing with your life? But here we are, guys, you know, here we are. Just a random little injection here. Uh, Kendall, when she jumped in the in the swimming pool, her makeup didn't change. So I'd just like to, to, to send out a message of appreciation for a makeup artist and whatever brand she used because they're clearly water resistant. Well played. And to be honest, I think I want to finish this, this video, this review of the Love Island reunion on a high. Uh, Jack, still repping the sliders three months on after the villa. Never forget, yeah, sliders are all year round, not just for summer, right? And him fisting and stuffing a turkey on television is one of the greatest things I've ever seen. But that's it, guys. I want to know what you thought about this Love Island Christmas reunion. Of course, it was explosive. That was to be expected. But it was it good? Was it a bit shit? Let me know. Do you like Love Island? Do you think it's the worst thing since Jimmy Savile? Let me know. You know, I, I did apply partly for 2018. I didn't finish my application. I did think about applying for 2019, but here we are, you know. Um, I, I don't think I could stoop that low, but then... It, it, from what I can see, it's great for the old career, so who knows? But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, as you know. Uh, down below, we've got all the links if you want to become a patron, if you want to become a channel member, you want to buy some merch, it's Christmas time, treat yourself. It is all down below. But the main thing is, please like, share, and subscribe. I will see you in the next one. Sweet one, geese.